Good day, I'm Marcellus Kendall from Home Resource Realty, and this is Melanie Underwood with Land Home Financial Services. Today we're going to talk about 10 questions to ask your mortgage lender. The first question is, which type of loan is best for an, an individual? Well, that all depends. Basically, it will depend on your credit. It will depend on if you have money saved up. A lot of times what we try to do is we go with a FHA loan because you would have to come with as little as possible down. That's three and a half percent. Got it. What about the interest rates today? What, what are we looking at on that? Well, interest rates have dropped, uh, thank God. Um, we For the last couple of years, I guess we have been somewhere in the four, four and a half range. Now we're down and have dipped into the three percent. So it all depends, um, and it will all depend on your credit. It will depend on the things that, um, the whole, basically the whole structure of the loan. Got it, got it, got it. What, what is the normal down payment right now? Well, if you go on FHA loan, you could get, uh, you could bring three and a half percent of your own money to the table. So I would say three and a half percent. Gotcha, gotcha. Are there any other programs though? Uh, and uh, let's say like the conventional loan, what is the normal? Uh... Well, conventional loan, you can, uh, it's anywhere from three to five to 10% that you would have to put down uh, based upon um, the loan amount. Okay, okay. Or should I say the, the purchase price? Gotcha, gotcha. And what about discount points or origination fees? I know sometimes we see that on certain documents. Are, are there any that you that you are aware of? Well, this is, uh, this is the thing in regards to discount points and origination. It's the same thing. It's a play on words. An interest rate, I mean, excuse me, a discount point as well as a origination, it is the same thing. What it is, it's 1% of the loan amount. So if your loan is $300,000, one point of that would be $3,000. So if ever you're looking into uh, getting a good faith estimate, uh, that you should be receiving when your uh, loan officer is trying to basically get you the beginning of the process, um, you would have that listed, okay? So you would see $3,000 on the, on the line that might say discount point or $3,000 if it's a $300,000 loan or an origination. So actually, it's the same thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So one of the other questions is, 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 is what, what are all the, some of the costs that are associated with settlement on, that you can uh, think of off the top of your head? Well, I mean, as far as settlement costs, I mean, a lot of times people say that um, we can do a loan with no money. Well, that's not true because you have title costs, you have, uh, which considered, I mean, which is um, abstracting. You have somebody to um, look at the deed, make sure that you have a clear deed. Um, you have recordation uh, uh, expenses. You have to uh, set up your escrow, which basically setting up your escrow is saying, okay, in your payment, you're gonna have your taxes and your insurance included. So to set that up, typically you'd have to come and they would get take six months of reserves to set that um, that escrow up. Gotcha. So that's all part of that as well. Gotcha, gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. So if a, if a buyer uh, got pre-approved and the interest rate now was 4.5%, it, can that buyer be uh, get a rate lock? Well, there's uh, there's a 30 day late, late excuse me, a 30 day uh, lock, 45 day lock, and a 60 day lock. So it all depends on the client, actually, the borrower rather, because it, the, no one's going to lock that rate unless it's conditionally approved. Mm -hmm. And in order to get it conditionally approved, the the, the buyer's going to make sure have to have everything in in that they need, as far as all the docs. They have to have uh, two months of bank statements, uh, two months of uh, their pay stubs. Mm -hmm. um, they have to have their tax return or, or really just the W-2s um, as well as their ID. Now, once that's done, then that can be uh, given out. Gotcha, gotcha. They I've will heard... be provided. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
So I've heard uh, a few times uh, through the years that uh, pre, uh, folks talking about prepayment penalty. Um, what, what, what do you have on, on that? Is well, Marcellus, that's actually an old term prepayment penalty mm -hmm. um, because in the state of Maryland, there is no prepayment penalty. Matter of fact, I'm not sure if there's any prepayment penalties anymore. Um, back in like, say, uh, 2006, before the, the, the market crashed mm -hmm. in 08, mm -hmm. uh, we had prepayment penalties. Gotcha. Prepayment penalties was just saying, hey, if you have a loan, you have to stay in that loan 36 months. So, gotcha. and then otherwise you would pay a penalty. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Now, so the, I strike that out a little, just a little bit further. So when you say at 36 months, what happens at 36 months on uh, if a person, so we're talking about if a person wanted to refinance, then they would pay a penalty to exactly. get out. Exactly. Gotcha. So that means that um, in 36 months, if, if, uh, if a person would refinance, they would pay that prepayment penalty. Gotcha. If somebody, if in three, um, 36 months, if they sell the property, they would have to pay that prepayment penalty. Now, uh, I had this question for you, but I think it's a denied question uh, per each lender. Uh, is, uh, is the lender equipped to approve a loan in-house? Yes, we, we actually are able to, to approve a loan uh, in-house. Um, pretty much what has happened is it's a, it's a, um, a, a computer program mm -hmm. that we can pre-approve the client in-house. Um, now, do understand that means that the client has to give all their documents so that they can be um, checked and rechecked and what have you. Um, and then we would then, after that, submit it to the underwriter and get a, a, a conditional approval. Gotcha. And that's that what they throw out there, the DU, right? The, Cor uh, they, do, they do underwriting? Correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Correct. gotcha. How, how, much, uh, how much time does it normally take to close a loan these days? Well, I would say anywhere from 30 to 45 days. I mean, we, we're actually getting loans done in 30 days. Got it. But that will also depend on how fast the client comes up with their documents. Okay. A lot of times there is an issue with clients coming to coming and giving the loan officer the documents or the correct documents at that end. Now, is there any difference of why a loan would take 30 to uh, or that 45? Does it, does it matter per a program or anything? Well, typically it doesn't. I mean, granted, there are certain guidelines that you must adhere to, uh, but pretty much all the programs can be done in that time frame. So at Land Home, do you guys uh, pretty much guarantee on-time closing? We do. Wow, gotcha. We gotcha. pride ourselves in having on-time closings, definitely. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, one of the things that we we were here to, to talk about, you guys have an amazing program. What, what is that program? Well, you know, um, every lender out there will say they have a specialty program. Mm -hmm. um, at Land Home, what we try to do is we have several specialty programs. But one thing that I love, I absolutely love, is our um, Heroes program. Okay. And that actually gives um, a teachers, nurses, firefighters, um, 6% of the loan amount wow. to help them towards closing costs. And that's a big, big, big help. Um, a lot of times what people don't realize is that they have some money, but they don't have all the money. Mm -hmm. And then when they don't have all the money, that grant will, will, will um, kick in and basically help them get basically to the closing table. Gotcha. Wow. That's an amazing uh, uh, program, I think. Uh, especially 6%. 6%? Help folks you gotta reach out to us and find out more about this uh, we are, we're, we're, we're glad to come to you and take this time to give you this information definitely and uh, we hope that you reach out to us give us a call I'm at 410-365-0713 I'm at 443-506-7929 I would hope to hear from you I like to try to help everybody that can get in a house get a house have a blessed one have a good one